Welcome to the Optimum CAD solution. We are here for discussing about the online course that is plastic product design and advanced CATIA in automobile. So before moving to today's tutorial, let's recap our online course content. So we already covered the plastic product design introduction, domains in automobile design, plastic design theory, and here we are now at a advanced CATIA. The points which already covered during the course, which is available on our YouTube channel, such as the plastic product design and advanced CATIA introduction, then domain introduction like BIW, structure, HVAC, then engine cooling, interior and exterior domains. Then we discussed about a theoretical and technical introduction to the plastic, plastic manufacturing process, injection molding in a plastic product design, then plastic defects in a plastic product design. After then we started the basic CATIA for the beginners and the few commands in the CATIA and those are a few tutorials which we already covered. Without wasting the time, let's discuss about today's tutorial which is on advanced surfacing in a CATIA shape design. So this is our today's task. We are going to design this component by using the surfacing commands. So let's open the CATIA and we'll start the designing. So here we are in the CATIA. This is our 2D drawings for the reference for creating 2D into the 3D. So let's start with the bottom circle that is the 100 mm diameter. So let's draw the sketch of a 100 mm circle. Adjust the orientation and from the center this is the 100 mm so after that there is a 150 mm diameter so it is about 25 mm so let's will offset the plane 25 mm and we'll draw the circle of 150 mm So again from the center, the diameter is of a 150 mm. So diameter 150 get completed. So we are designing the total shape by using the multi sections and at the corner there is a section of a elongated hole from the rectangular which having the four points at the corner since we have to split both the circles into the four. So let's split the circle into the four. Um, so we will split from offset of a 25 mm or uh, 50 mm so let's give the offset of a 50 mm and we'll split the circle into the four points so here the two points we got will mirror those points along the horizontal so here are the four points. We'll take a output feature of these four points. So here we completed. Uh, we'll check from the drawing. So there is a one, two, three for outputs. So similarly, we'll do in the bottom circle. So we'll take a 25 or 30, 30 mm. Again, we'll split and we'll mirror the, uh, the points. And same, we'll use the offset feature for this. So here our both circles are get splitted into the four. So we'll draw the remaining sections from our multi sections. So uh, we have to draw this elongated hole which is of a 30 by 60 mm. So let's take offset plane. Some dimensions are missing from the drawing. Let's consider. So this section is at left side and which is offset 170 mm. So let's take offset plane of 170 mm and draw the elongated profile so 
so this is of a 30 it means radially it is 15 mm and it is 60 so both the center distance are of a 30 mm which is exactly symmetric from the vertical line and it is 150 mm from the bottom circle so again there is a some straight portion so we will take a 15 mm offset and we will copy the same profile of elongated hole so let's take a reference directly of our previous profile so here we get a four sections circle circle elongator hole and elongator hole which having the four equally divided parts so let's go go into the surfacing we'll hide unuseful parts from our drawings and we'll start the multi-section command so multi-section command which is the beauty of surfacing let's start the multi-section so first of all in the sections you have to select all the four sections coupling there is a different types first of all we'll use the ratio and in the coupling we'll give the couplings before that we have to click on the coupling so first coupling similarly we'll do remaining walls So this is the third coupling. And last one. So here you can see the four couplings are get joined by the four different sections. So let's give the closing point. Select the one coupling line and give the each section closing point over there. So we'll replace the closing points. Default closing points we have to replace as per our coupling point. So here we'll see the preview and here the basic shape is completed as per the tangency. So now the basic surfacing or a shape design get completed. Now remaining feature will start to design. So here the basic shape get completed. You can see here. So now we'll we'll extrude the hundred mm radius, hundred mm diameter circle to the ten mm thickness. So it has a base of a ten mm. You can see from the drawing, and we'll close and we'll join the profiles so now this remaining portion which is having the elongated hole of a 24 by 54 so let's draw it so we can take the reference of this sketch also but we'll take a different sketch and in that we'll take a reference So here we'll take a reference of previous elongated circle and we'll draw new which having the dimensions of 12 mm radially and it is similarly 30 mm. So now we have to close this one will extrude the new profile or till to the 25 mm so here extrude command now 
now we'll start the split and trim commands which uh, which are the joining commands of two different circles so before that you have to uh, you have to join all the profiles all the surfaces now we'll use the trim command so internal part get removed you can see so so now this uh, radius and all remaining features will add so this radius is of a 3 mm we'll add here is here also which is not present in the drawing but till we'll, we are going to add so it is of a 1 mm we'll consider it so here the total shape is going to get completed only the slots are get remaining so let's we'll design the slots first of all we'll take a sketch and we'll draw the profile of his slots so this is of a 5 mm which having the diameter of a 10 mm so uh, here is the 10 mm so we'll consider this is of a 35 mm and uh, this is of a 75 and which is symmetric about the vertical so similarly there are a remaining three elongated holes which having the same dimensions and uh, which is opposite of a 20 20 20 mm from it so let's give the dimensions so this is of a 30 40 60 so this is the 20 40 and 60 it means 20 from both side and this is having the radius of a 5 mm all are symmetric along the line so here the shape and uh, slot shape it completed will extrude and will start splitting operations
the today's task by using the surfacing commands thank you for watching our youtube channel guys be connecting with us we'll share more and more technical knowledge to you do not forget to hit the bell icon share and subscribe our youtube channel thank you